we're back at it a day late, a buck short, but we're going to make it up for the rest of this week. It's AK47 over at tradecasher.com and of course, Prime Trading Investments. Hit us up. Now, this week, what can we expect? It's March 18th, that's today, Monday, through the second, 22nd, I should say, which is Friday. Well, let's get into it. I'm almost kind of glad I waited to do this. Why? Later or today because of the move, which we'll get to. I'm going to tease it. Big move today from a, from from one, if not two tickers. And really even for the SPY on a Monday, and I talk about this all the time, so let's get into it. When you see the SPY most times go up in pre-market this much from 5.11-ish, five, like, that's a big, look what we do most times. Watch, I'll show you another day. Look at this. And we may go up more, but we where do we go? We go back down. I can't tell you how many how many times I've seen this when the spy and a lot of these plays in pre-market are spark, uh, sp uh, spiking up. We might. And and sometimes we do get that continuation, but a lot of the time it leads to a spike and then dump a ruski. So spy now for the rest of the week. What are we looking for? Today sets a big tone for the rest of the week and the channel that I do see overall. And now this is that, of course, original 52-week high that was forever ago. I say forever ago, but the channel is just a, kind of actually above it at about 504, almost 505. I don't think we'll get lower than that this week, even with today's move. Obviously, I mean, it's not like, well, that, that's still a huge way to go down. We'd have to have this day over and over and over. And so let's go through these levels. Under 512, watch for a move even tomorrow right here, about 511.70, right there. Then down to about 512, or 511, 511. That's another key area. I think overall, we could then find our way down to this area right here around 510.60. Then next down right here to about 510. Overall, then even for the week, we could make our way down. You can see the real major support. And this will be my normal. Nor even if I did it yesterday, or I should say, my bad, yesterday on Sunday, I would have said, you know what? I bet we don't get any lower than this 508 to 508 75 for the week. I bet we can spike back up and we're going to stick in this overall channel it seems like we're creating from this area to this area. But... At that point, where we're already down, I'll still say, because we did spike up so much, so it makes sense, that's my normal low for the week, right around 508. 508.75. For the move down, and sorry, my voice is like giving up. I've been just talking so much for the past couple of weeks, uh, doing one-on-ones and whatever it might be. Don't worry, I got the tea. I know you got... Hey, send me some, if you're listening to this, send me, send me uh, VB, anyone else out there besides the normal tea. Uh, some some lemon in it and some some honey. To what to do for this to keep it going longer? I know there's. I need to look up some other remedies online. As much talking as I do, but I think even underneath that 508, this area right here, we could find our way down even possibly to right through here 50785. Right, that makes a lot of sense. But then even down to 507. I don't think we get lower than 507 this week. Even after today's pull, I just don't see it happening. But I will say normal low of the week 508 to 509 area. Ultimate low for the week, 507 with a possible dip to 505. Somewhere in here. It could happen. It could. I doubt it. Still a lot of pull. But that would mean pretty much every day has to be red or there's just one day that's super nasty. But I will give that. Now for the way back on up. Over 513. Watch for the pop uh, pop back up to 514. Possibly even up to 514.50 area. Over that you can see 515 and a hair over is strong resistance. But you can see why I see 514 is pretty strong. And then, of course, 515 and a hair over it. Just that whole round number two of 515. I mean, of course, it could be 514, but every five is so big for uh, large cap plays once you get over really even 20. So, and that's, of course, even that, that's a mid cap at that point, but you get my point. You go 20, 20, but to every $5, once you get over 20, it's very significant. I would say my normal high of the week is going to be up over this 515, 50, 30 mark, whatever, right through here. Up to about 516, somewhere in there. My bigger high of the week will only take it up to 518.32. I think we channel and chop this week up and down in this channel from about 518.32 to about 505, maybe over it. Now, alphabetical time, I'll rip through these. <laughs> and this is what I've been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for, talking about this for the last two uh, weekly previews. And we finally got it today. I didn't trade it. I'll show you what I did trade because it was just a better setup. In my opinion, because I'm just not a fan of Apple, but this was uh, actually better setup. Honestly, overall, I'll outroll what I traded because in the end, A, it did move more dollars-wise. I think it did. I'm pretty sure it did, or close to it. Regardless, it's right about the same. 
But it's just how long that buildup was. First resistance, then support. Or I should say first support, then resistance. This is a gorgeous setup for that squeeze at the opening bell, but it happened in pre-market, so I couldn't take it. I didn't want to get in shares. I mean, I could have, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to do shares and options. I should have got, should have got in, but I wasn't actually trading or up at that time. I actually slept in to about seven my time. When I saw that break, I'm like, finally, finally, finally. So what did I do? And I'll give this real quickly and show you what I traded. But I'd say Apple for the week overall, normal high of the week. I don't think we get back higher than that. My ultimate high of the week, if we do and somehow we surge up, see us getting back up to maybe 180. For the move down, 172, 170 seems to be a lock at some point this week. I don't think we get any lower than 167.90. Now overall, next up on the list, AMD. AMD back under 185 here in this 184.35 mark. I want to talk about the reason I'm getting right to this. I'm not a big fan of Apple. The move finally happened and had this in pre-market and I'm like... F you, Apple. <laughs> like, anyway, this is a great short coming up, possibly, and I think it's going to happen this week. Under 184 or so. Sorry, team. It's what happens when you have these massive eyelashes. It's like, my wife's like, I just thought, and girls in the back, your eyelashes, you're, they are long. But boy, when you lose one and it gets in your eye, it's so annoying. You're like, yeah, yeah. you're like trying to flick it out. <laughs> but under this 183.90 ish mark, 184, yeah, 183.90, 184. Watch for a tug, and I'm saying a tug down to 180, even possibly down to 178.75. I think overall for the week, we easily could see we. I'll go normal low of the week because I don't know what we're gonna get this week. Really, after that move today, it was a big pullback here in after hours for AMD as well. Uh, it says AMD, my device is frenzy. What do you need to know? And they just can. There's nothing though, right? There's like, oh, what happened in after hours? Nothing. There's just a huge sell off. And so with that big sell-off right there, I think we could easily hit 180. And I, this is going to be prime watch for, you to, uh, for me tomorrow under this 184 mark for the move down to 180. I think overall we could even hit 178 tomorrow, 178.50. This has bigger days here recently, team. Bigger days. And so and overall, I think this normal low for the week because we that pullback we had and we're so close with this bear flag to want to dump and give back more of these AI plays, which we'll go over more, that really had big pullbacks today, the uh, pullbacks overall for the day. I think overall, if I would have given it yesterday, my normal low for the week would have been like 180 to 178.50, 75 area, right? But I think now after the move we had today, and especially here in after hours, this, my normal low of the week is going to be 177. My ultimate low of the week is going to be down to about 172.50. Now for the move back on up, I, I, I'm going to be, because I think we're getting the pullback. And so I think on the way back on up, watch for this 188, and I'll kind of zoom in now. This 188.20 area, 188 area, up to 190. Over 190, I'm going to go up to maybe right around here, this 192, uh, we'll call it 193 to 193.50-ish, 85 area. Normal high of the week, ultimate high of the week. It's going to take it up to this reversal area and old resistance. Boom, 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 boom. So right around right there, around 197 for ultimate high of the week. I'm liking that short, though. Do not forget that. Under 184. Armor. I'm trying to go through these. Choppy. Do not like it. I talked about this uh, earlier this morning in my morning alerts. I don't like this overall. Watch for a move down to about 120 this week and a pop-up to maybe 136. I think it stays in that channel. Google now. The play I did trade this morning. And oh, it was, oh, it was so ultimate. You buy so beautiful. Came out with news with Apple. Of course, Apple rolled up this morning. That's kind of why I missed the Apple move. And of course, really even could have got it with Google. Because if you go back to the longer time frame here, we haven't been over this area of 145 in such a long time. It was such a great blow up to 146, over 146 to this area. So you can tell. So now watch, I'm now even 148. I'm not getting into 150. I'm like, you're gotta be kidding. Look at this move all the way in pre-market up. So I missed all that this morning. So that's why you can tell overall. You can split both ways. Go Apple, you go Google. I say Google was a better move. Apple was a great move because of the I say Apple was a technically sound move overall because of that set up for so long. But this move, you can't argue is bigger and better. Now, did you expect that? No. Um, that's why I was saying earlier, Apple, the setup overall was kind of like, that's just a it's just technically sound. You just you knew at some point that was going to happen. You come up with this PR this morning. Uh, they're coming out with news together. But overall, Google moved more dollar wise. I mean, you go from after 142 up to I mean, that's huge. 
That is huge. Imagine Apple moving $10. It did not. And so let's just go to pre-market and let's just eye out this area right here of 150, 50, 150, 60. And so I knew in pre-market as we're going up here, I just want to show this out. I'm like, oh team, get ready over 150. Because you can see here when I'm giving my morning alerts, we're up to 150. I'm like, this is going to squeeze. Now there was a quick fake out breakout in pre-market, which led to a quick sell-off. Scared out a lot of traders, I know, but then led to what? That last squeeze and last leg up. And I even said in those and said, hey, we're up a lot. You zoom out. We haven't been over here for a while. I know we're up a lot already, but look at that in pre-market. Look how gorgeous. That is so set up for a, another breakout. So right here, we're just building up, building up, building up. I waited for uh, market to open up because I wanted to get in contracts as well. Saw that upper shadow there. High was what again? What was it? High uh, uh, 150.20 essentially. Waited for the 150.50 break. I was in a one-on-one -on -one this morning and told him, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm wait for the 150.50 break. When I get in anything above it, I'm jumping in. When in shares and contracts, and my target was 152.50 actually in the move, so a $2 move, that paid out just nice, it is so, so, so nicely. And so overall, now for the week, what are we going to get on, and I'm going to go out to a four-hour time frame in that 180 so you can see here. With that move up, and this, there, there's no, if we get over this, this 153 mark, we'll call it that, I would be super shocked. So I'll call this ultimate high of the week. I, there's just I don't think we'll get back over that. My normal high of the week now. I don't think we get back over this 150.50 mark. Honestly, I think we may chop around. Now for the way back on down, watch we move to 146, possibly down to 145, even a little bit lower down to um, um, you can see the 145 mark right here. I think that's kind of insight. Maybe down to 144. I think we channel between 144 to 153. Huge move from uh, Google though. Meta. Be careful with this. It's been in a choppier mode here recently, team. I would say over 505 uh, and 503.50 would be huge. 503.50 here, 505 there. And then we can explode up. I'd say your normal high of the week, even though this kind of went against the grain today and went up and stayed up, I would say your normal high of the week is going to be 510. Your ultimate high of the week, 520-ish or so. Somewhere between 519 to 523.50. For your lows, watch for a crack back even tomorrow under 495 and 494 for the move down to 490. This could overall see for the week. My normal low of the week is going to be right around this 485 to 481-ish mark. Ultimate low of the week down to 476. Over to Microsoft now. Chop your play. I don't like what Microsoft is doing. I'm kind of like steering you guys away from it for now. Not going to alert it, right? And same with this one. Two in a row. Ah, just choppy, choppy. That's crap. Wait, wait. No, here's what we want. Here's what we want. We want some movement, baby. And so NVDA here overall for the day, look at that move. As you can see here, went up. I mean, in the first five minutes of the day, let's just show you this. In the first five minutes of the day, look what we do. We skyrocket. <laughs> just crazy move up. And then I'll go back here overall so we can see what we might do this week. Up to 925. And then back on down to 865 essentially for the day. I mean, talk about range. I would say now after that move, and that's why this is the next two plays that I get into, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the next two plays I get into, the Super Movers, SMCI is next, which wait till you see how much it moved today. I'm going to, I'm glad I waited is my point because it's got movement. Under 860 is going to be a good short. And then especially, because you can see we haven't really been under 860 for the most part, but once in market, in market, since we popped over it. And so, in my, I think you can kind of consider that. You get my point, though. So, under 860, this could really range back down to 845. I was right last week of saying where my low of the week is going to be on eight, on uh, NVDA. My normal low of the week was hit pretty much in the first day, but my ultimate wasn't. So, I'm usually pretty good at this. I would say watch for a move down overall on under 840 and under 835. 835 is going to be my normal low of the week. My ultimate low of the week, again, like last week, we'll take it down to this 820 area and possibly in the 18s, somewhere in the 18s, maybe 810. That'll be my ultimate low of the week. My my high of the week, we've got to get back over 900 and hold. The only time we did it was for maybe 24 hours, which is here. Other when I guess you could call it that. But it, And we're building this kind of tighter and tighter movement. Are we going to crack back and finally have that maybe multi-day, multi-week pullback? Or are we going to squeeze up and finally get to 1K and get over it? So I'd say your ultimate high of the week is going to be 975 to 960. Your high of the week, normal, was hit today at 925 to 930. 
Now the monster... Oh, I forgot. I got to okay, do QQQ. All right, so QQQ again, a little choppier as well. I think overall, let me get let me go a little bit further out than 15. I'll go to 30 day. I actually need to probably put that in that 30 day, 15 minute time frame so I can go back and see if there's anything I see. And there's really not. I would say right here is that key, well, besides getting below it. Normal low of the week right here is under 433, but that's my normal low of the week. If we get below 433, watch out. We could crack back down to 430 for ultimate low of the week. Ultimate high of the week, or the high of the week, let's go to normal first. Back up to 438 in this little area right here, right here through this area, 437 to 438. It's going to be tough. If we get through it, I bet we shoot up to 439 and a hair above it, possibly up to 440. And where we came from, that's going to be my high of the week, what we hit today. Normal high of the week, just over 440. Your ultimate high of the week will then take it back up to this high right here, just over that to 442. Boom and bam. Then over that to about 442, 50, 60, 75 area and to 443. I don't think we get much higher than 443 this week, maybe 444. SMC uh, team. <laughs> Look at that move, and I caught some of this today. We went skyrocketing up all the way up to 1150 from 1100. A $50 move in the first few minutes. What's up, Eleanor? I see, baby. I'm almost done. All the way back down. Hold on, baby. All the way back down. <laughs> I'm like, what? 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 I mean, we're talking monster day again. Not surprised, though. But I'm glad I waited because that would have been probably my ultimate low of the week. Probably would have been if I started yesterday right here. I would have said normal low of the week somewhere in here. Ultimate low of the week here. I'm glad I waited. And maybe that's still going to be right. So don't forget I'm saying that right now. Maybe this ends up being ultimate low of the week. But I'm going to go further now. If we crack 950, we are going to hit 925. Below that 9 to 900 and possibly down to 890. Normal low of the week now has been adjusted to 890. <laughs> and bigger low of the week will take it to 850, possibly 830. Wow, right? And now on the way back on up, 970, you can see here, right here to right here, big to get back to 985 and 1000, which really has been only once as shown, or twice, I guess, really, kind of key. Over 1K up to this, 11, we'll call it 1015 mark. And you can see there's kind of like a little sandwich here in between 1015 and 1025. I'm going to go normal high of the week at 1025. Bigger high of the week will then take it back up to 1050 to 1070 and possibly 1070 to 1100, 1090, your ultimate high of the week. 1070 to 1090, ultimate high of the week. And last but not least, here we've got Tesla. Tesla, a little choppier, has had some moves down. Look for 160 to 150 and below to start averaging in on a long-term investment play. Probably should have done and gotten some shares in last week, but oh good. Over 175, again, kind of like those plays like Meta today that actually went up and went against the grain. Over 175, watch for a pop-up to 176, uh, 50 here, 176.75, and then to 178. Over 178 to 180 and over 180, I think this has room this week. We'll call it, you know what, normal high of the week, 180 to right here, 180, 150. Over that, ultimate high of the week, I don't think we get any higher than this 182, 50 to 183, 75. Now, whether we have way back on down, down, we'll go to Australia down under, mate. Little shrimp on the bobby. Under 172 is going to be key here. Under 172 to 170. Under 170, watch for a pullback down to this 167 mark, 167.50. Under that, down to this one, close to 165. That'll be my normal low of the week, 165. My ultimate low of the week will take it down, then pushing to 160. Ultimate low of the week, 160 or so. Ultimate high of the week, 183-ish, maybe a hair over it, 184-ish or so. Again, AK-47, Josh Smith trades over at, you know, of course, Instagram, Prime Trading Investment. Tradecaster.com team. If you ever need any help, we have you covered, and especially myself from small cap to large cap, multiple plays alerted day in, day out. Come get that love if and when you need it. I'll see you all this week in chat. <laughs>